and welcome back to Total War of the Three Kingdoms. So, I want to go ahead and skip the load-in so that y'all didn't have to watch the load-in page when we were uh, coming back into this game. However, the neat aspect that I was realizing is the kind of information it was giving you was about our campaign. It, uh, the second... I, fr I didn't really realize what the first piece of informa uh, information was It was out while I was setting everything up. But the second piece of information was talking about the fall and destruction of the Yellow Turban Rebellion, which was about our game. And the third piece of information, which made me realize that it was giving a rundown of my campaign, is it talked about the birth of a warlord must my be daughter. skilled in politics if their faction is to thrive. Maintain stability amongst your generals and court nobles by keeping them satisfied or banishing dissenters that threaten your rule. I know. I should definitely see uh, who is satisfied and who is not satisfied. But the fact that when I was loading in this game and it was talking about Xiao Boji, I mean, it didn't mention her name specifically. But it did talk about her noble birth. It did mention a noble birth. And who else is that going to be besides my new daughter? Oh, where did where did Gaugia come from? Ooh, he's a strategist. Where did he come from? He would probably oh, wait. Can you can you stay hovered? Stay hovered. Thank you. He is a astute advisor and a strategist. Legendary strategist. He's a legendary strategist at that. <coughs> Excuse me. Able to severely impair the efficiency of enemy units and generals in the battle. They also provide us provide use of formations to, to nearby friendly units. However, they are extremely fragile. Best group with retinues of ranged infantry. I was thinking of making him an administrator, but this is actually a general. Because strategist with 15 cunning, and cunning's very good, and his cunning is over the threshold, which gives him 50% ammunition and 12 military supplies, would be very good to lead an army. Are you happy right now? Ooh, you have abilities. You're brilliant, which gives you extra cunning and more ammunition. You're you're just you're just straight cunning. Okay. And you are perceptive. This is very good. You're a very good unit. I will want to hold on to Gal I will want to hold on to Galgia. Cost to recruit this unit is a thousand. I'm tempted to recruit him now. We have Shisun Rui, Shen Jiu, Wei Jiu, and Xiao Yong. My gold is at 2025. Uh, I'd really like to recruit him, though. I really would. All right, what was I doing? Oh, I was taking the toolmaker. Was it the end of my turn, or do I have? No, I can recruit, so I should be able to move. No, I can't. No matter how devoted your soldiers are, rest is needed between marches. Try to manage your army's movements so they can rest in safe locations. Some more archers would not be bad. Uh, spearmen, horse. No, I say we just wait. Just wait it out. Everyone here should be doing well. Yeah. Would like to check the diplomacy really quickly. I am surrounded on all sides, which I don't normally like. I like to have like, uh, sorry, I'm saying like a lot. I like to have a waterfront. 
That way I don't have to worry about people who come from behind me. And somebody... Oh. Tao Quinn. This man killed my father last time. We do have to make it a goal to wipe him out. <coughs> we do need to uh, seek our revenge and destroy this man. I do believe we have to do that. I'm going to finish up taking the tool maker in the small city. I will backtrack and let me see if I can make peace with him because I don't want to wage war. Do you like me? You don't like me enough. Uh, can I make you like me? I don't want to trade you any territories. I don't want to trade you any of this. I don't really want to offer you any food. I could make a payment and see if that would up his liking. I mean, nothing's saying I can't just kill him. That's always an option. Your diplomatic what? dealings with other warlords will be limited. But as you grow in power, you will be taken more seriously. And more options will become open to you. I think that's a hint. That's a hint to kill this man. So we will not give him any payment. We will move to the next turn. <coughs> and then from there, we will do some of the things that we have to. Fire burns brightly and indiscriminately. But no flame can last forever. Starved of air, it chokes, it splutters, and is then extinguished. The tyrant is dead. Yet in the ashen darkness, the avaricious prowl. Huh. I mean, Dong Zhuo's dead. That's all we needed to do. He's dead. Good game, everybody. Nah, I'm still gonna unite China. I mean, there's, there's clearly somebody else. Somebody who killed Dong Zhuo. Revenge is schemed against the old adversaries. There is a corruption at the heart of the Chao family which can no longer be tolerated. To avoid betrayal now or in the future, their leaders should be confronted and defeated as soon as possible. So you're not going to give me any time, are you? Well, no. I can defeat him. Fall of the tyrant. The minister Wang Yun is plotting the overthrow of Dong Zhuo. No longer, will, no longer willing to suffer the tyrant. It is said that Dong Zhuo's adopted son has been manipulated into striking the killing blow. So, Lu Bu killed Dong Zhuo, which is accurate. Oh, no. And he became the faction ruler. I would have rather fought Dong Zhuo. This man scares me. That man scares me a lot. <laughs> All right, we're going to take the tool maker. Decisive victory. We can just delegate this one. Hopefully we don't lose too many units. Nope, 64, not too bad. We're going to occupy. Now we have the tool maker, and now I think lastly we need the small city. Well, if we go for the small city, we have to go for the lumberyard and the fishing port. And I don't really know where those are. I think we just backtrack now. Yeah, I would say we backtrack. Ooh, what is this? Hold on. 
Yangtze River. That's pretty cool. Look at the nice splash art. Yeah, I'm gonna say that we backtrack now. I have quite a bit. Buildings can grant local as well as global <coughs> improvements. This Public gives me order, 200 from growth, industry. And food production can all be improved by constructing the right building. This gives me prestige, 200 energy, and reserve, reserve capacity. Um, income from commerce would be pretty good. Land surveying development is income from presentry, which would not be bad. State workshops will not be terrible. Uh, there's a few things I want to do. So this is a tool workshop. This gives me a higher garrison, which I think I should do first. And I will do first. And then from there, I will work on this city and probably build... Hmm... Maybe a marketplace? The thing is, I need something for public order. Yeah, they're not happy. They are not happy at all. <coughs> Should be okay. I really want to move Xiao Xiao back to uh, Yangzhuo. Why does everyone want my wooden fish? I'm pretty sure I'm using this right now. You want one regular food, which I'm normally okay with, and you want a non-aggression pack, which I normally would be okay with. Can I give you just the food? No. If I give you two food... If I give you two food, you'll accept it. And Li Yao is to my south. Which I should definitely do because I'm not going to be fighting Li Yao. Let's see. I'm making eight food. I'd say I can do this. Give him food for peace. That's acceptable. Because I am going to be moving my army north, which means I'm not going to be here to fight this man. will affect your relations with other factions. So be careful when you attack or insult others. <coughs> Avoid being isolated diplomatically and try to maintain peaceful relations with factions you wish to stay at peace with. Okay. We do have a reform. I do believe we take an available trade agreement. Available trade. Ooh, administrator. I know that an administrator will give me a lot of benefits. Your family is the base of your power. Take care of your generals by guiding their progression.
Minus 25 building upkeep. 10% construction cost. Income from industry, population growth, income from commerce, and silk and spice. I think it has to be Xiao Ren. He'd be happy for the uh, change of post. She does not give a damn about change of post. Oh, where to deploy him at? <coughs> Farming is low here. Farming is high here. Who is making me more money? Shin is making me more money. So I believe Shin is where we would like to put him. Minus 40 building upkeep? Ew. Um, I'm actually going to put him here. Hopefully to lower the uh, upkeep. And I'm hoping it affects public order. I'm really hoping it affects public order. Oh, I have two of these. I didn't even know. All right. So we're probably going to put him. Oh, it exited me out, didn't it? Yeah, it did. A warlord who cannot safeguard their own family shows weakness to their enemies. Families can be managed by appointing an heir, rewarding loyalty through adoption, and arranging political marriages. I'd say that's good. This is taking three turns to upgrade. We want to get to our farmland and take that. Why did you do this? Why would you declare war on me? What did I do? Oh, I didn't give you all my shit. That's why. <coughs> wow. I didn't think it would be that soon. So Yuan Shao has definitely declared war on us. I don't think there's a reason to do that, but okay. Hopefully if we wipe out his army one or two times, he'll stop. He's now my administrator. Understand that you're not... No, I can't do that. I know you want a marriage and I know you're offering a lot of money, but I'd really rather not. Oh my god, declining all these are going to make people Maintaining hate me. Maintaining public order is essential. If the people become too unhappy, they may rebel. Ensure your population has enough food. 
and use stationed armies to suppress those that can't be appeased. Wow, he really grew to hate us. Nope. This man's never going to have peace. Okay. Okay. That's, um... Not entirely acceptable. Alright, so we can recruit Your so that we can and their retinues gain experience in battle, increasing their effectiveness. You must balance using their experience to fight the tougher battles while making sure you don't waste them on doomed battles. Okay. <coughs> That'll give us the 19 that we need. Go ahead and do that mission. You want a non-aggression pact and you want to give me a payment. Yeah, dude. You're perfectly accepted. You gave me a trade agreement. You're like my only friend right now. <laughs> You're my only ally. You're the only person around me who does not hate me. A trade agreement may be possible with this faction. As your trade power grows, you will receive more money from your agreements. Okay, that gives me extra replenishment too. Opportunity glimmers in Sao Sao senses power. Your initial advances were promising, my lord, but bolder steps are required. You must take control of the entire cap uh, commandery. By doing so, you will solidify a central position that allows you to administrate and strategize more effectively. From such a point, you can then more easily expand your influence and fight any other warlords in your way. So hold three settlements. Total is five. I've already beaten this, so I get my credibility. So I'm I'm kind of ahead of the game. Alright, we definitely want to take this farmland. So we want to move here. Oh, look who's coming to greet us. Hey, 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 buddy. Yeah, you remember my dad? You killed him in an ambush. I believe it's time to seek revenge. Building's been upgraded. Character developments. These are people of merit. Mission success, mission issued. So these can go away. I hope... Yeah, he didn't leave yet. I'm going to go ahead and recruit. I believe. Recruit him into my force. It would be good to promote him as well. Because I know he's not going to be satisfied. He desires a higher court position. Yep. But I would like to use him for a new army. So all I'll be able to do is give him a promotion. Which is not great. A person's destiny is revealed by the traits that emerge over the course of their life. These will be embodied as strengths and weaknesses that shape their actions. I would like to give him the rat, but we're going to give him this, the clay dog, because it's six satisfaction and six authority, which is pretty good. So right now he is set up. Ooh, this is not in use. This is use. Ooh, hold on. 
We have a giant axe. <coughs> I want to use the giant axe, honestly. Gives me a lot of resolve. We'll figure out how to use that on. First, we have to deal with our little invader here. Hi, friend. Where are you going next turn? Oh, <laughs> see, you can't, uh, when you have an ally to the north, you can't abandon for too long. Somebody will try to sneak in here. All right. So it did take us the turn to get uh, this mission done. It gave us our credibility, which is very good. From each according to their ability. My lord, the generals under your command are talented individuals, each with an array of skills they can put to use in improving your realm. In each commandery, they can be sent on assignments to oversee and improve the infrastructure, both military and civic, of your lands. Each character has different qualities to bring to these endeavors, so inspect your options carefully. Ooh, and we have Jade Bird. Relation deepens between Exwile Yun and Sao Sao, and I get bonus experience. Over T, you tell your general of your dream of a Jade Bird. The general takes a long sip of their tea, places the cup down, and looks you in the eye. A vision of a jade bird is an auspicious prophecy. The jade indicating imperial matters in a bird, in the bird a being that can traverse the gap between earth and heaven. That's pretty deep. That's interestingly deep. Okay, so the tool workshop got built. That upped it a little bit. We're still losing some food. The small People city. People move to your settlements as they develop. As your population grows, it will strengthen your economy. But be wary of rapid expansion in case there's not enough food to feed the masses. Income from peasantry, Lady Bien. Oh, I, I kind of wish her name was Lady Brienne of Toth. Okay, so I think we're gonna use you here. Give us that extra peasantry income. Our army is going to move this, oh! Oh no. The yellow turban moved in and took it from me before I could get there. And we have yellow turban on this side. Wait, I thought they were wiped out. So we have to move east or west now. We can either go to war with the yellow turban who I don't believe is technically at war with us. Nope. Let us check our diplomacy really quick. He does not like us, but... They are not at war with us. Neither is Huang Xiao. Okay. So, with them not being at war with us, I think this is a prime time to move east. Oh, I don't want to wage war against Wang Lang, no. But you don't like us. If you liked us, I wouldn't have to kill you. But, okay. I guess this, <coughs> this must be done. We'll scout him out first. Give a little scout. You have no army in defense of your large town. 
So I'm going to go ahead and wage war. Didn't want to have to do it this way. I really didn't. But um, you give me no choice. Instigate proxy war. I'm not going to spend my credibility to do this, but I will declare war. You don't like us already. That's that's perfectly fine. Can I make it there this turn? No, because I didn't go to the bridge. Depressing. That's fine. Sorry, Wang Lang, but your time has come. You do not give up. My god, you really want to marry them. And he's... Oh, he's for it. Do I deny him love? He pays me too. Oh, man. Fine. Take Sao Ren from me. I can't stand in the way of his love. I should have done it the first time. I'm just, I'm greedy. Oh, they were fighting each other. Oh, no. That's so awesome. I had another kid. I had Xiao Fang. Joyous occasion. A son has been born. So I'm very close to uh, being second Marquis. Xiao Xiao seeks to improve his standing. It is clear that although he is now merciful, he is now mercifully gone. Oh, Dong Zhuo. Dong Zhuo was a symptom of China's ills, not the cause. Other petty warriors throughout China still plot. Not even going to try. Perhaps they always did. You cannot allow them to hold the country in thrall. It is time to increase your prestige amongst the other nobles. Through your economic wisdom and gifted statecraft and strategy, you can and should make yourself known. I am working on that. I am going to get here and we are going to see. Pyrrhic victory. We can't afford to lose this many units. So we will build... three of these in one turn they start to starve out they don't seem to have any artillery turns until surrender six we're not gonna wait six we'll try and get them to surrender relatively soon I'd say two to three turns half the time <laughs> excuse me I have the hiccups where did you come from I don't remember having you. Wow, she's level four. And her expertise is really high. Oh, I put her in an assignment. That just leaves Gyalgia. I don't want to make this random guy, I do not want to make him an administrator. I say we leave it open for now. We leave that position open. And in the meantime... Managing a commandery means ensuring there is enough income, food, and reserves, that public order is stable. And that your population is growing. Yes, 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 All I know. All this must be balanced for your faction to thrive. I do need food. 
we went from what was it like 11 food to six and we did make that treat agreement <coughs> oh you want peace now you want peace for a lot of money you remember you killed my father this is never happening this happens when you're dead. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh no! How did you have two armies? Even great heroes are not immortal. So if one of your generals fall in battle, they will have to be replaced. The replacement will continue to lead their predecessor's retinue and continue the fight. Xiao Xiao has an upgrade. Oh my god, my authority is off the charts. Equip that. Industrial exploitation. This is a passive buff. Imperious presence. Four cunning, four authority. Flexibility is really good though. Gives me units, unit replenishment. Enables mighty knockback. I think we do imperious presence first. And then we do flexibility. Because you don't really pass up passive buffs. That's, in my opinion, you just don't. Oh, he's going to beat me, isn't he? Population growth drives your economy, so be sure to maintain a steady growth. This gives us plus four military supplies. Construction cost of military infrastructure, eight military surplus. Unlocks buildings we don't necessarily need right now. 15 from industry, 10 from commerce. I think we do this. Give us another trade agreement and then we'll go for commerce. I need to figure out how to deal with this guy. And I also would like to figure out how to check my garrison because I have not done that. Oh! He gained philanth uh, philanthro philanthropic. Two resolve, six authority. That explains why his authority is off the chart. Chart. How do I check my garrison? I know that there's a way to do it. <coughs> Pardon me. I know there is a way to check my armies. The thing I'm not happy about is that I can't check it. What is my garrison here? Oh, there it is. Okay, so it doesn't really... I have three archers, one cavalry, two spear guard, and G infantry captains. I think that's enough to take him. He has G militia. I can definitely take him with that garrison. How's he doing on this front? He is going to be suffering attrition next turn. Very good.
I could wait. I could fight this. The issue is, Wang Lang is not my target, so I don't want to lose my army doing this. He is not my target. He is, and he's just he's waiting to fight me. Are you serious? You're waiting to fight me? Okay. This is a close victory, but he's waging war against me. Oh, he's coming out to meet me. And he's doing it with his garrison as well. I'll take this battle. I'll take this battle every day, buddy. Every day. You do not want to meet me in an open field. And I'm about to show you why. Got to have some walls to defend yourself. If you don't... Oh, yeah. There is work to do. <coughs> We're definitely going to get a duel in this time. Sorry, I know I'm being awfully quiet. I am cleaning my classes so that I will be able to see the murder that's about to happen. Okay. I really didn't want to wage war on this guy. Why couldn't we have just been friends? Everyone hates Xiao Xiao. Except my one buddy. He's acceptable. Alright, so their reinforcements are going to come from behind them. They're either going to be positioned here. Or positioned here. I would really like to use the trees to my advantage. But, since they have to attack me... We can do this really differently. No, let's do our archers next. There we go. Since they're coming to us, it's better to have the archers in the front. I think that'll do it. I don't know if I want to take a corner, though. Like, taking a corner wouldn't be a terrible idea. So that it forces them to come in, us at, uh, come in at us at one way. Because I don't know where their main army is. Which means they're probably behind these trees. But I don't have to attack. They do. I say we use this. Alright, hold on. No, that's not going to be good enough. Oh, it might be. Put him in the back here.
That's not too close, is it? Hold on. There we go. I prefer that. That looks nicer. Looks a lot nicer, in my opinion. And are we missing anyone? No. So we're going to try and have the cavalry flank behind. I'll try to station them all up. Can I hide them in here? It's not the prettiest, but if they're hidden, they're hidden. I mean, they're all cramped up in here. But how great of a flank would that be? <coughs> Goodness. My lungs, they quit. Alright, so they're all, they are all hidden. Oh, I didn't realize the fog hides us. Oh no, so they could definitely find my, uh, they could definitely find my horsemen first. Yeah, because the fog hides them too. Oh no, we took a gamble. Oh no, we should have moved up. I think it'll be okay. Let's see if they find me. Because they're attacking us. They're the ones kind of with a time limit. There we go. I like that better. Look at the formation. It's not the cleanest. I could have made it better. Could have made it better. That's a little better. That's a little nicer. Look at all our flagmen. Beautiful. Beautiful army, beautiful scenery. Just look at this. My generals are ready to fight. Oh. They found me. That's okay. Let's uh, play normal speed. What is he? He's the commander. He's the strategist. He doesn't want to duel. Hmm. They don't want to duel. That is a pity. A duel is single combat between two generals. Troops will honor the duel and not interfere unless ordered otherwise. Oh, 
Oh, the duel's happening right here. Is it the strat? It, it is Sal Sal first, the strategist. Oh no, Eggs Wild Dune versus the strategist. I want to see what this does. Oh, that was nice. Good old sweeping attack with the spear. Yeah, we should have that beat. Hold on, hold on. No, that was too soon. I looked away for one second. I looked away for one second. I mean, you guys aren't getting away. Man, that duel went way too fast. I'm sorry. I looked away for one second just because I didn't want to lose units. I'll try. I'll do better next time. I will watch the duel properly. Look at this man. Got your ass kicked there, huh? You should have been my friend. Then you wouldn't be running on your little footsies. What about you? The strategist is almost out of here. Oh, he never even left his horse. That dude is gone. <coughs> dude took off like a bat out of hell. Wow, my cavalry just have so many kills. Well, I didn't want to do that. I did not want to obliterate this man. We all know this. We all knew we didn't want to do this. I'm normally all for going to war, but if it can be avoided and we can make peace and trade agreements and stuff like that, I would be happy to take that. We lost 153 men. We could go for the replenishment. We only lost 153. I don't think replenishment is needed. We could ransom for a little bit of money. I would say military supplies. Because after this, we're, we're still kind of moving forward. Nine replenishment's not bad, though. And we did take some damage. He's down to 20... 99 out of 120. Oh no, you did not attack where I thought you were. Generals wounded during battle or discovered to be enemy spies can be taken hostage. Their captors must then decide the fate of the hostage. Release, execute, or Get them to change sides. I don't know if I'd be as forgiving for a spy. It re it depends on the spy. Definitely depends on the spy. This is still a close victory. 
I would have medium casualties. Why is this still a close victory? I've utterly destroyed you. You're not going to surrender. They will not give up the settlement. Well, then we have no choice but to fight. It should not be a close victory. Like, they have no units. But I'd rather not risk it. <coughs> because our other buddy, the guy who murdered our father, is waiting right there in the shadows. Ready to swoop in. So I'm not losing my units to this stupid fight. When they should just surrender the settlement. I mean, maybe it's their only foothold. That's why they won't surrender it. But even so. Ooh, this is... This looks like a decently big compound. Looky, look. We got a few fires going on. Not too bad. Not what I wanted to do, believe me. I don't want to damage the city I'm going to occupy, because then it's my ass that's busy repairing it. I did not make a siege tank. Or, you know, anything to break through the gate, so we are actually going to have to play with the hole in the wall. Which means we have to go this way. Flippy this around. Flip, flip. Good news is these towers are down. We're going to put them here. I don't know why they don't want to duel, but, I mean, they're super weak. <laughs> they're super weak from attacking me. My force is massive. That was a very good fight before. I didn't realize how good the fight was until we're looking at them now. Like, that's nothing. They're going to die in seconds. And then they have all of them protecting the center. Look at the archers rain down fire. These poor men. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. No, they just, they don't stand a chance. Three left. Two. That's it. It's time to take the center. I think we can have Sao Sao capture these. You're positive you don't want to duel. Good charge. Oh my god, I forgot they were spearmen. Holy... No, bad charge. Bad, bad, bad. No, 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 no,
Those spearmen destroyed my cavalry. Okay, never charge into spears. Never charge into spears. This is what happens. They took out the majority of my horsemen right there. At least in that group they did. Where are all these arrows coming from? Oh, okay. We don't need arrows raining down from there. Our force is going to the center. I believe we can have him come in. Xiao Xiao can come in, go for the strategist. Have Exwa Dun come in, go for the strategist. Any duel? No, you don't want a duel. My cavalry just needs to sit back. My cavalry got literally cru- Who are you firing at? Oh, there's one unit. Send you guys back out here, please. I'm not going to need them, and I don't want to use my archers just in case uh, friendly fire is a thing. No, you don't want to duel. I did kill a strategist, though. That's him sitting right there. And that is it. Not a terrible victory. I'm very dumb. They got 22 kills on one cavalry unit. Because I sent that cavalry in to do nothing. Oh, and it was a it was a medium cavalry too. <laughs> Establish your power. Treasury 2000. So that means we did. Your power increases. The second Marquis. Yup. Oppression and war lie heavy upon the land. It falls to you to reverse these dark tidings. Your power grows, but will need to grow more if your ambitions are to be realized. Oh, wow. That's an hour already. Well... Faction destroyed. Yeah. Administrating and ruling a faction requires a healthy and robust treasury. Collecting taxes is vital to maintaining a regular source of funds. You lack purpose and you desire a higher court position. Well, you know what? I can give you the higher court position. Look at all these that happened. Faction destroyed, occupation, mission success, power increases, mission issued. Hey, he's oath sworn now. That's the way brothers should be. They're oath sworn as well. We received the Jade Monkey and a Military Great Axe. This is definitely going on somebody. Alright.
So this makes you really happy. This makes you happy. I'm going to put you as an administrator for now. I will put you in Shin. The lady... UG. UG I want to use as a... As a spy. So one administrator is good for now. But we have a chancellor position open. So they're recovering. I need to repair the damages I caused. Repair the small city. Confucian Temple gives me public order. Economic building construction costs reduced. And a mail post gives me income from commerce, which is really good. Um, I don't know if I want the Confucian Temple. Public order is not bad, but it costs upkeep. What can we put here? Patrol would not be terrible. This also increases my garrison. I'm going to do patrol because we're at war right now. Or the military infrastructure. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of right now. Since we're at war. We are losing food. We're losing food due to uh, diplomacy. I'm not sure where he is going. This place we can increase. This gives us trade influence. Pretty good. Public order, 40 upkeep. We don't really want to do upkeep. We want to do... Food production would not be bad. <coughs> State workshops, maybe? We have a marketplace, which gives us commerce. I say we stick to com commerce and do horse exchange and in. Yeah. This will be our commerce area. Alright. So we have taken this place, which was not... I mean, it was my goal. But it wasn't, like, what I wanted to do. But I think we have to end it here. Yeah, because we're an hour and eight minutes. So we're a little bit over. Dang it, we're so close. We will take him. We are taking him next time. No matter what, we are wiping out his army. We're taking Ping Ching. We're taking Dong Chai. Oh, sorry. Dong, Dong Hai. Why did I read the G as a C? But we will be taking these lands from him. We also need to take this. No, no, that's Zeng Chao. We're not at war with him. Oh, that was his army. We're not at war with him. I don't need to be worried about him. All right, but very good, very good, very good. Very good little expansion. We have these positions open that we need to figure out. Xiao Pi is now age six. He's getting there. Let me know what we should work on next after because this is guaranteed this guy has to pay for his crimes against my my people my leader and we do want to use ug as a spy
Can we do it that way? Did we already do it? I think we issue the spy into Yuan Chao. Yup. Eyes and ears, not all action must be overt. The unseen fly can travel where the tiger cannot. By sending out a spy, I can move unseen, but have all revealed to me. I like it, and I like that art. Alright. That's where we're gonna end it. We're sending a spy into Yuan Chao's faction. I hope they're not at war with each other. Don't wage war on my one ally. But we're going to end it there, folks. Let me know if you've enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do what you need to. I'll catch you all in the next one. I'll probably be posting two today because I am not ready to stop this game. This man must pay. Know the hearts and desires of your enemies to defeat and confound them. Sending a single spy to infiltrate an enemy may save hundreds of lives and spare unnecessary bloodshed. Well, I'm glad I waited for that little bit of tidbit information. Thank you. All right, I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.